Suppose you've recently become the owner of a Staffordshire Bull Terrier or an American Staffordshire Terrier. In that case, you're undoubtedly trying to figure out what should Staffies eat and how much to feed your Staffie. These are super crucial questions for any new dog owner and you need some accurate and helpful answers. I sure did because I was overfeeding my Staffie and I had no idea. While Staffies are not a particularly challenging dog breed to provide a well-balanced and nutritious diet, there are still many basic requirements that all dogs must have in their diets to keep them in the best condition. Surprisingly, Staffies are pretty sensitive dogs and are known to suffer from sensitive skin, dietary issues and other allergies. You shouldn't lay all these problems at the feet of your Staffies diet. In fact, allergies, etc. are more often the result of environmental factors rather than the dog's diet, or as in many cases, the cause is the proteins in the dog food. So what types of food should Staffies eat? You should feed your Staffie the highest quality food that's affordable for you and your family. The list of ingredients will not provide you with the difference between cheap dog food and a premium variety. The disparity is in the source and quality of the ingredients in the food. For example, one budget and one premium food may both contain 30% protein, but there will be a huge difference when it comes to digestibility for your Staffie. When choosing your Staffie's food, only go for a diet with whole food ingredients you recognize and are listed in the ingredients. Try selecting a low calorie diet. Suppose you can keep the number of calories down to around 350 to 400 calories per cup. In that case, you can maintain a good balance between feeding your Staffie sufficient amounts to satisfy them without overdoing the calories so they add extra unnecessary weight. There are also several types of fruit and veg that your Staffy will love to eat, which will also provide them with great nutritional value. But how often should Staffies be fed? There's no hard and fast rule relating to how often you should feed your Staffy, but typically puppies up to six months old should have three meals a day. Once they are over that age, reduce it down to two meals each day. I would also suggest you always keep it at two meals and not reduce it down to one. If you feed your staffy any snacks or treats occasionally, they should be calculated into the daily total and shouldn't exceed 10% of that total. Now you know what type of food and how many meals a staffy should have, how much should staffies eat? Dog obesity is a massive problem and getting worse. You must know how much you're feeding your staffy daily. To work this out, you need to calculate the ideal number of calories your staffy needs per day. You achieve this using your staffy's weight. If getting an accurate fix on your Staffy's weight is difficult because they don't stand still on the scales, weigh yourself first, pick up your Staffy and weigh together. Deduct one figure from the other and you have your Staffy's weight. Let's first look at an American Staffordshire Terrier portion size. The ideal weight of an American Staffordshire Terrier is in the range between 25 kilograms and 32 kilograms. Assuming a typical activity level, it would work out at 1400 calories to 1619 calories per day split between two meals. Overweight Amstaffs on a diet need only 80% of their recommended daily calorie intake. As for a Staffordshire Bull Terrier portion size, Staffordshire Bull Terriers should weigh between 10.5 kilograms and 17 kilograms. Once again, assuming a typical activity level, their daily calorie needs are between 769 calories and 1,055 calories split between two meals. Overweight Staffies require only 80% of their daily calorie intake. If you would like to work this out for yourself, there's a link to a calculator tool in the description below. Also use the guide on the food bag to calculate the calories into either number of cups or grams per calorie. And if you want to know what not to feed your staffy, watch the video on the screen next and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching. If you've got a beloved staffy, make sure you download our four step training guide on how to safely walk them without a lead. This can make walks so much more enjoyable for both you and your staffy and enable you to develop an even greater and more trusting bond. Download your free guide by following the link in the description below.